friends. So today we are at Epcot here for the opening day of Flower and Garden. Uh, really excited to be here. It's a little breezy out today, but uh, it feels great. It's upper 70s, maybe I think it's gonna get into the 80s today. So very nice weather for it. Little crowded. It was a minute to get inside the park. Um, the line for, for parking was a little long, so. Although that could just be me because I don't usually get here at this time of day. So it's like 11 o'clock right now. I wanted to get here so that I could do lunch. Uh, so the goal for today is to try a couple food items, a couple of drinks, and check out some of the topiaries. Uh, Matthew and I will come back here together at some point. So we'll, whenever we do that, we'll show you guys a few more food and drinks. He'll try some things that I can't eat. Um, and we might do one of the scavenger hunts again. We had a lot of fun with that during um, the Festival of the Arts. I didn't show that on camera, but it was really fun going around and trying to find. They didn't make it as easy as I thought it was going to be. So without any further ado, let's go check it out. They have a line today to get into creation shop to see the merch so i don't think we're going to get in that line right now uh we'll go see what we can see at the kiosks and world showcase instead that's a lot This behind me is one of the reasons I love this festival. There's just so much color everywhere that you look. Here we go, our first topiary. We got Huey, Dewey, and Louie right outside of Test Track. Now we've got Donald over here outside of Connections Eatery. Gardening in his little garden. Walking towards Guardians of the Galaxy now. I gotta see if I can see the Groot topiary because I love Groot. y'all can hear that but he's playing music in the background the group topiary has a, a playlist so he occasionally plays songs that's fun all right y'all forgive my hair during this clip it's just gonna go everywhere because that's how it does um so we started at the farmer's feast over here and I got the veal loin which is on a split pea risotto. I'll show you guys a better video but here's kind of what it looks like. Um, I'm a little surprised by the... I was expecting there to be a little bit more veal but I guess it's not... Um, I guess it's not too shocking for festival food. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's got good flavor. Um, the veal is very salty. Um, I like salt. <laughs> I tend to put more salt on everything that I eat, so that doesn't bother me. But if you're not big on salt, you might not be a huge fan of the veal. Um, the risotto is pretty good. You can definitely taste the sweet peas in it. Um, <clears throat> I'm impressed. First dish, first dish at the festival. I'm impressed. Um, I did not get a drink at this stand because I felt like they would all be very sweet. And by now, you guys know how I feel about sweet drinks. Um, so we will continue on after this and um, I'll find a drink. I saw a lot of Sauvignon Blanc on the various menus. Um, that makes sense, I guess, because of the 
since it's flower and garden, kind of a springtime festival, that's a good light springtime wine. So I might try that somewhere. Yeah, this one's good. Good start, good start. Another note on the food. I think I'm gonna be able to get less dishes today than I thought I would. Since it's just me here, I don't have an extra stomach. There's only so much I can do, guys. But we'll try. Carry on. So the music event that they have here at the Flower and Garden Festival is Garden Rocks. And they have the schedule of performers listed out here. Smells really good over here, y'all. Again, with all the colors, this is the prettiest festival for sure. Headed over to Northern Bloom now by Canada. This always seems to be a favorite for me, and they always seem to have the most, well, I guess not the most, but they always seem to have gluten-free options. Um, and most of them don't usually contain egg either, so I know at least two of the dishes there are gonna be safe for me today, so. I'm gonna try, I think the scallops, since I just had uh, the veal, because the other choice is beef tenderloin tips. And I thought about getting them both, but we have other things to try, so we're just gonna get one. blackberry wine and the scallops with potatoes and green beans. It all looks pretty good. It's still very windy out here, so we'll see how this goes. I keep being afraid that this is going to topple over on the table. <laughs> it's not bad. You can taste the blackberry. It's a little sweet. There's another sparkling wine by this Florida Orange Groves company. It's just pineapple sparkling wine. Matthew and I love that one. That's always a must get at this festival and food and wine because they usually have it at both. Um, this one's good. I would, I would drink it again. Um, it's refreshing, I guess, on a warm day. Very refreshing. All right. Well, let's see about the food. Mm. Scallops are cooked well, they're not overcooked. Um, the bacon vinaigrette is delicious that's on top of the scallops. It's very zesty. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Green beans are very, very crunchy. So if you like a crunchy green bean, you'll like this. A little potato. Pretty basic potatoes. Not really much seasoning on those. Um, this is good. I think I liked the veal dish better. I would get this again, but 
So far, my favorite was the veal. It was really good. It was a little weird at the booth. They were already running out of, um, I think it was the whipped potatoes for the other dish, the beef tenderloin. So people were turning, being turned away for the, the beef tenderloin unless they wanted just the beef without the potatoes. Um, we're an hour into the festival, so I feel like that's a little oversight. Um, they should definitely be prepared for for more than one hour of festival time with uh, potatoes, but it's all good. Cheers. Y'all, I'm already full from two dishes and one drink. So it's gonna end up being a short, a short day here. Cause my stomach can't hold that much more. <laughs> We'll see if we can get one more thing in before I head out. I also do have some stuff to do this afternoon, so this isn't going to be an extremely long trip here. Um, just wanted to come and check everything out on day one and give you guys a little insight into what's going on here. Is it just me or does Winnie the Pooh always look creepy? Guys, I came to Hanami, the booth at Japan, for some sushi. This is probably going to be the last thing I'm going to eat and drink today. Um, I think this cocktail is going to be a little sweet, um, and I'm getting a little full. So this is my dessert. It's pineapple, strawberry, and lychee wrapped in pink soy paper. Got some whipped cream on my hand, and then this cocktail is Ishigo Breeze, which is sake, watermelon, and straw. Yeah, strawberry. I'm reading out of the book. Cheers, we'll try this first. It's good. It's very smooth and refreshing. It's kind of like a light fruit juice, sort of. You can taste the sake a little bit, but that's good, very refreshing. I had the fruity last year for the first time. It was very good. That's delicious. Yep, it's just fruit sushi. So simple, but so good. Mm. It's a good way to end the food for food tour for the day. Um, I hate that I couldn't try more, but just don't have room for it, guys. Those were some pretty hearty dishes that I tried the first two rounds. So. I'm going to sit here and eat this sushi, drink this drink, and then finish my... I'm going to take at least one lap around the showcase, so we'll keep going. If we run into any more cool topiaries, we'll take a look at those. a line outside of creations here so I think we'll go in see what we can find here get a closer look at this orange bird stuff he is pretty cute some very bright, colorful aprons. These are interesting. It's like, 
Ears are your thing. Got orange bird ears. Seems like everything is either orange bird or Minnie Mouse themed with the bright pink and blue vibrant colors. They've got some cocoa stuff too. Keep the kid. Very good. coffee mugs. Make your garden really Oh, the handle's like half of a butterfly wing. back where we started a couple hours later. Today was fun. I enjoyed it. The food was really good. I was impressed. I love seeing the topiaries. I hope you guys did too. Um, like I said, I'll be back here at least one more time, if not an another couple of times, um, but at least once more on video with Matthew for us to try a few extra things. Um, I think my favorite dish from today was the veal. That one was the, the overall standout. That was a good dish. It's time for me to head home now and get some work done. I hope you guys enjoyed following along today. And of course, if you are looking to plan your next vacation to Disney, Universal, cruises, all-inclusive resorts, any of those things, you can reach out to me. My email and a quote request form are linked in the captions below. I appreciate you guys following along. See you on the next video. Cheers to the